we're the ones that are your doctor's eyes and we do our best to get the best images for you. What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Giselle and I am an ultrasound technologist who is going to bring you ultrasound awareness today. Many people have no idea about what we truly do. And if you ask somebody who has no idea about the medical field or no idea about anything ultrasound related at all, the one thing that they always will say is, Oh, so you scan the little babies. Like babies and pregnant women. Yes, we scan pregnant women. That is what ultrasound is known for. And I think the reason why is because every TV show does the whole it's a boy, it's a girl type deal. And honestly, us ultrasound technologists, we don't actually do that. So with all that being said, stick around for this video because I'm going to talk to you about what ultrasound really is and what we ultrasound technologists actually do. This is gonna have a lot of information in it. So if you are gonna stick around, grab a snack and a drink, we can get started and talk about ultrasound. It is Ultrasound Awareness Month, so happy Ultrasound Awareness Month to all of my sonographers and to all of the sonography students out there. You are going into a field that's very challenging and rewarding, but it is worth it. So with all that being said, let's get started. All right, you guys, so over on my Instagram, which is at lol giselle i asked you guys in your own words what do you think ultrasound is about or what do you think ultrasound is so i'm going to just give you some responses that people have said okay one person said the music they play at ultra i guess like ultra sound is ultra like a festival the only festivals i've been to is life is beautiful never been to coachella never been to edc yeah, that just shows you, like, I, I, I don't know. Is this a festival? The music they play at Ultra? They somehow use high-frequency sounds to see inside of you, but I'm not exactly sure how it works. So you got a little bit there. Yes, we do use high-frequency sounds to see inside of you. So yeah, that's a, that's a pretty good snippet of ultrasound. Scanning for the babies and the bellies. Yes, we do that in ultrasound. Next one says scanning bodies with jelly. Yes, not jelly that you put on your peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, but yes, we use gel to be able to see in your bodies. So yes, that's technically ultrasound. I never knew what ultrasound was until I got pregnant. Then I discovered it's not only for pregnancies. Yes, not only for pregnancies. Good job, but yes. Okay, this one is finding in your body that you can't rip open your skin. Yeah, so sort of, kind of, you do look inside the body and you don't open the skin, so I guess you're on track there. Monitoring fetus and stuff, not so sure, but they're definitely cool. Another one says save lives, which yes, we do save lives. Babies with the sweating emoji, JK. <laughs> yes, babies. Look inside the body with high frequency sound waves to diagnose a variety of conditions. Dang, that's a pretty good one. We're getting close, we're getting close. And the last couple is, look at the JJs. I mean, we get a glimpse of them. <laughs> Check for abnormalities, look for babies, cancer, and so on. Yes, good job. And the last one that I love so much. Make multi-platinum records and look for babies on the side. <laughs> That's a good one right there. Yes, I wish I could make multi-platinum records, but yes, we do look for babies too. So those are some of the results that I got. And, you know, those are great responses from you guys. I love it, love it, love it. But it also goes to show that not many people know about ultrasound. And what I usually tell people when they see me in an exam room and I start scanning something that they had no idea that I could scan, I'd be like, yep, we scan everything from your head to your feet like everything. There are things that we scan that you probably had no idea, like testicles. We scan legs, arms, 
abdomens. So we look at your kidneys, liver, gallbladder, spleen, pancreas. We look at your pelvic area, so uterus, ovaries, cervix. We can also scan the brain. We do transcranial Doppler ultrasounds, which checks your circle of Willis vessels. We also scan your aorta, which connects to your heart, your IVC, which is a part of your venous system. We definitely scan breast. Breast is very important, especially it's October right now, Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Yes, we scan breast. We confirm things that are on mammograms. And yeah, it's just, we do so much more than just scanning babies. We scan everything from your head to your feet. So if you guys had no idea about that, you have learned something new today so yay so we ultrasound technologists are known as sonographers and people can say ultrasound techs some people say ultrasound technicians but to be honest i do not like being called ultrasound technician we are technologists we are sonographers we got degrees we got certificates we went through a program that is super duper hard and super duper hard to get into in general so we deserve to be called sonographers now what we have to do is go through a lot of different classes learn anatomy physiology go through physics math english sciences whatnot and then take ultrasound classes and imaging classes and that's where we learn everything about ultrasound and what we do in the hospitals the clinics and what we do on the daily we also have to learn how to maneuver a machine we also have to know how to work the machine so after going through all of these years of schooling you learn how to actually use a machine you learn how to talk to patients take care of patients and you're usually with your patients from 15 to 30 minutes at a time sometimes even an hour when you're doing procedures there is a whole lot with this job and more people think there is to it we are usually registered under ARDMS which is American Registry for Diagnostic Medical Sonography. We are certified in that so that you can trust us and know that we are a good fit to be able to perform this said exam on you. You can trust that we know what we're doing and we kind of know what we're looking at. I get that question all the time. Do you even know what you're looking at? And honestly, most of the time we can't even tell the patients, actually, Pretty much all the time we can't even tell the patients what we're looking at because we are not the doctors. We are just the doctor's eyes. So in terms of do we tell you if your baby is a boy or a girl? No, we do not tell you that your baby is a boy or a girl. We don't tell you if there's twins. And if a patient asks us, we're honestly not supposed to tell them, not supposed to say anything about the exam to them. So yeah, a lot of times patients get really mad about that, but it's just not our job to say. So once we take these exams that make us registered diagnostic medical sonographers, we are ready to go and work in the ultrasound world in hospitals, outpatient clinics, even mobile companies. There are people who will take a machine and go to your home and scan you there. We are capable of working in these places. And then once we do that, we take a machine. We use our left hand usually to maneuver the machine and we scan with our right hand. And when we're scanning, we're not just looking around going through a protocol taking the said pictures we're supposed to take but we are also using the machine at the same time to make really good quality images the machine just doesn't take the pictures for us we're actually maneuvering the machine changing the frequency pushing the color doppler pushing the pulse wave doppler we are changing the time gain compensation these are all words and things that you probably have no idea what they mean right but to us it's how we create a beautiful picture to present to the doctor we have to learn all of that in school and some patients will have a lot of gas some patients will have a lot of motion while you're scanning them so we have to learn techniques on how to take these images and use the machine at the same time to take good images because let me tell you this if I am not catching something that's going on in the body then the doctor won't see it if there's a mass or something and I miss it that's on me we have to be good detectives to be able to find what's going on in the body and that's just something that people have no idea we're doing we're actually looking we have a set protocol but we take images wherever we feel necessary and not only do we take those images we are making sure that the images look good taking diagnostic images and knowing how to use an ultrasound machine is not our only job we are also doing our best to try to take care of these patients while they're in pain while they're upset while they have no idea what's going on we're also dealing with patient care we have to have good customer service we have to know how to speak to the patient at the same time as trying to maneuver the machine and get the best images for the doctor 
So if you don't know how to multitask, this job will really teach you how to multitask and how to think quickly on your feet because you really don't know what to expect with every single patient. You don't know what they're gonna say, what's gonna happen, what you're gonna see or what you're gonna find. So it's definitely not a boring job and you definitely learn a lot every single day with every single patient. We're going to be pushing these patients in wheelchairs, we're going to be putting them on gurneys, helping them stand up, helping them get out of wheelchairs. So there is a lot of physical movement as well with this career. Ultrasound is definitely difficult because you never know what to expect with all the patients that you get. You don't know if you're going to have a patient that has normal anatomy. You don't know if you're going to get a patient who has some kind of variant of anatomy. Some people have one kidney. Some people don't have a gallbladder. Some people have two uteruses. Yes, two uteri. It's a thing. So, I mean, you just kind of go with the flow. You're also trained in school, in lab, and from your clinical to know how to handle most situations. Now, you're not going to see everything in your lab and clinical. Everything you learn comes with experience, comes with practice, and really, the job is just so much fun, rewarding, but can be stressful at times. So, yeah, if you thought that ultrasound was just for babies, it's not just for babies. Once we take the images, we send them over to the doctor, the doctor reads them, writes a report, and that's how you get the results of your exam. We as sonographers do not diagnose, we just describe. We actually write a worksheet or fill out a worksheet that says what we saw and what we found in that exam that we did. So there is some note taking, there is a lot of critical thinking with this job, and we have to know how to use specific words to describe images that we see. Becoming a sonographer can take from two to four years, it could take even longer because all of the programs are super competitive and they only take a limited amount of people per year. It is definitely a cut throat program and career in general because you pretty much earn your spot. Most sonographers have to go through a lot just to get to where they are today. So the next time you have an ultrasound, thank your fellow sonographer for doing what they do because we are also a big part of the medical field. We are probably one of the first people you will see in a hospital and we are probably a person that you will see in your entire life. If you have abdominal pain, we will do an abdomen exam. If you have flank pain, we we will do an ultrasound of your kidneys. If you have pelvic pain, we will do a pelvic ultrasound. And if you have swelling in your arms and legs or shortness of breath, we will perform a venous ultrasound. So definitely thank your sonographers for what they do because they went through a tough and hard road to do what they do for you guys today. We are the ones that are your doctor's eyes and we do our best to get the best images for you. I hope you learned something about ultrasound today that you didn't know about and I hope that you guys are enjoying these videos that I post because I just want to bring ultrasound awareness to the community and to my fellow students. I just want to be somebody that you guys can turn to to ask questions and not feel down about because I am one that asks a lot of questions. I'm not ashamed to ask a lot of questions. I just generally want to know the answer to a question. Don't be afraid to ask away. Ask any questions that you have in the comment section below. Don't forget to add me on Instagram so that we can be friends and you can update me on your journeys. And thank you guys so much for being here, for subscribing to the channel, watching these videos. I'm so happy, so thankful for all of you guys. We are almost to 1,000 subscribers, so yay! You guys probably hear my dogs barking in the background. If you do, I'm so sorry. But this is the end of the video. Until next time, please stay safe, be kind to one another, stay positive, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye!